Congratulations to Australia. They are through to the last 16 after a narrow victory over Denmark. A 1-0 victory scored by Matthew Leckie in the second half. Funnily enough, it literally came one minute after Tunisia's Wabi Kasri scored against France in the other game. Tunisia also won their match 1-0, but because Australia came into today's games with three points and Tunisia only had one point, as well as called Denmark only having one point, Australia have done the job having won against Tunisia and Denmark. And I have to say, Denmark, one of my choices to go through to the next round, will have been an abysmal disappointment. Drawing against Tunisia, a narrow defeat to France, which, yeah, fair enough, it's France. But to lose to Australia like this is honestly really, really bad, considering Denmark reached the semi-finals of last year's European Championships and beat Scotland in the World Cup qualifiers to qualify for this World Cup automatically. It's just been absolutely a complete, un un an underwhelming tournament, really. A lack of a, a, a prolific striker has really costed Denmark, considering the number of chances they created during this tournament. Um, you know, Cornelius, Casper Dolberg, and Martin Braithwaite just simply didn't cut the mustard up front, missing chance after chance. Australia have arguably got one of the worst squads I've ever seen. I mean, yeah, the 2006 squad reached the last 16, but that was a team for the Premier League stars. Now, where do most of Australia's players play today? They play the likes of Denmark, Scandinavia, the Middle East, Japan, the Championship in England, the lower leagues of Italy and Spain. But all oh, well, but congratulations to Australia. They have punched above their weight. And of course, because they're also Asian Football Confederation members since 2007, this is proof that the Asian Football Confederation does actually produce strong teams, contrary to popular belief, of course. Japan and Saudi Arabia earning wins against Germany and Argentina earlier on. Those two still have a chance of qualifying. Um, as for France, of course... Um, Having already got the job done against Denmark, they rested a lot of their best players, such as Mbappe, and they played the likes of Guendouzi, Ravan, and of course, um, also played a few orders that, haven't, that are not likely to see many minutes in the tournament. But they looked horribly off the pace, and Tunisia actually had a goal ruled out for by VAR in the first five minutes, and then of course they actually had a few shots throughout the match. France just looked off gear. They, they looked like they couldn't get out of first gear today. It won't matter because they've won the group. Australia finished second, but thanks to goal difference, despite both France and Australia finishing on six points, um, France's goal difference of plus three against just plus one for Australia. Plus one, is it? No. No, no, no. It's actually, yeah, minus one for Australia. As... um. Pretty much means France will get to play the runners up of Group D, which could be anyone from Argentina, Poland, Saudi Arabia, or Mexico, depending on how it all pans out tonight. 